Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I want to discuss Terran Malakos. Terran Malakos was a former Jedi that we see in Jedi Fallen Order. I want to talk about him and some theories I have about him as well. Now before we see Terran Malakos in Jedi Fallen Order, he was a former Jedi Master who served the Jedi Order in the Galactic Republic as a Jedi General during the Clone Wars. During the war, Malakos became one of the Jedi's most trusted commanders and was renowned for his abilities as a tactician and motivator of his troops. Malakos' abilities as a general did not prevent his men from betraying him during Order 66. After escaping from his clone troopers, he crash landed on Dathomir, eventually falling to the dark side of the forest in the process. During his time on Dathomir, Malakos met former Padawan Cal Kestis. Malakos tried convincing Kestis to join him on the dark side, though Cal refused. With the help of Marin, who was one of the sole surviving Night Sisters, Kestis was able to defeat Malakos after a duel, resulting in Marin burying Malakos alive with her magic. Now I want to talk about Terran Malakos. Now we see in Jedi Fallen Order, if you collect all the Force Echoes, we see his slow turn to the dark side. It wasn't like he just landed on Dathomir and it was an immediate turn for him. We see him slowly drift down the dark path until he becomes what we see in the game. But the thing that's most interesting about Terran Malakos is the symbol on his chest. It bears a large resemblance to the Sis Era symbol that we see in Legends, which if I'm not mistaken is currently not canon. But this is where my theory starts as to why this symbol would be on his chest and why he has a lot of knowledge in the dark side. More than what we were shown in the game. Now my theory begins prior to the Battle of Naboo, when Darth Sidious went to Dathomir where he traded secrets of the dark side of the force with the Night Sisters leader Mother Talzin. Now we know how this ends. He tries to recruit Mother Talzin as his apprentice, but later takes her son Darth Maul. Now what I believe is that since Darth Sidious traded secrets of the dark side with the Night Sisters, when Terran Malakos crash landed on Dathomir and slowly turned to the dark side, he discovered these secrets and that's where he got the symbol on his chest from. Why he would carve it on his chest is unknown to me, to each his throne I guess. But we also see in the game that Malakos wanted to learn all that he could from the Night Sisters' magic. We do know that the Night Sisters were Force users, and the magic that they used is derived from the dark side of the Force, which is probably why Malakos wanted to learn the magic from Night Sister Marin as he knew this and he wanted to learn all that he could from the dark side. Now that since Malakos was trapped on Dathomir for a long time, and he manipulated Night Sister Marin into teaching him the Night Sister's magic. It's not unsurprising to me that Malakos would have a lot of knowledge in the dark side of the Force. So that's why I think Malakos carved a symbol on his chest, and why I think it is very similar to the Sith Era symbol that we see in Legends. Now, if this is true that the symbol on his chest is the Sith Era symbol that we see in Legends then to me this is a great way to combine Legends material with the new canon. And that's ultimately how I think Malakos has a lot of knowledge in the dark side, is because of the Sith secrets that Darth Sidious gave the Night Sisters before the Clone Wars. And I want to know what you think about it in the comments down below. And if you want to see more content relating to Star Wars, then subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.